guys, it's that time again. Big Brother Canada is here. It's season five. Hey. <laughs> All right, so this starts Wednesday, March 15th at 9 p.m. Yeah, but this season's a little bit different. The schedule is going to be Monday and Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Canada times and Thursday at 8 <laughs> You know that Canada also has three time zones, right? <laughs> Eastern time. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, so I'm kind of excited about the different days because it's going to be nice to have Sunday nights off. Yes, it will be. So the theme this year, so they say, or so has been leaked. Is, no, they said it. Oh, they said it? Is Odyssey. Ooh. So that's open for interpretation. Yeah. There was that one leaked photo of like that wall with the different colors on it and kind of had like a space background. I don't know. It was like... Really interesting. It definitely seems like from the questions that they were giving the new house guests also, there's going to yes. be some sort of time travel theme in the house. I think that's very cool. We'll know more on Monday. I'd love to see, like, this is the 60s room. This is the 70s yes. room. This is the 2050 room, you know? Or this is the 70s challenge. Or this is the 80s challenge. That's going to be really cool. It I like it really a lot. Cool. There also is possibly a redemption type theme. No, it theme. definitely is. There's definitely a redemption <laughs> theme. That's yeah. cool. There's been a lot of speculation about the cast this season. Is it going to be all-stars? Is it going to be international, twist, whatever? Well, now we have some answers because we got the first eight house guests this morning. Woo-woo. Yeah. Right. So four of them are returning uh, Canada players, and four of them are newbies. Sounds an awful lot like BBUS, returners versus newbies. Yeah, but I think there's going to be an even split here. I think it's going to be eight returning right. and eight newbies nice so that's pretty exciting i like that i think that's fair if you bring just like one i still or think two, it's not fair <laughs> well i think fair would be all returning or all new okay let's get to the house guests okay let's talk about the returning house guests first first up gary levy i love gary oh he's 25 and now he is an artist yeah. from toronto if you guys did not see season one, Gary was evicted. Gary came back. <laughs> Gary made it to the final two. And should have won. Pretty much won, except Topaz blew it. If you've ever heard the phrase pulling a Topaz, it's when you vote for the wrong person in the finale by accident. You know what? <laughs> in, ho in all of our hearts, Gary won. And <laughs> I think it's probably better that Gary didn't win in some respects, because I think he garnered a lot more Support. notoriety. Yeah. I Could think be. he got more of what he wanted out of it. Okay. So he used to host the sideshow. Yeah. And then he used his coin <laughs> to travel the world. Yeah. So he's been all cool. over. And I love Gary. I, I do too. He he's is very entertaining. He's very comfortable with who he is, and he's very encouraging and inspiring to other people. Yes. So I'm he, looking forward to him being back in the house. He's got a great social game. His strategy this time, guess what? It's going to be to make sure everyone votes the right way on the final. <laughs> that would be nice, right? Arissa! Uh, Arissa! <laughs> you know Arissa had to be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> no. Get back over that bridge. Yep. All right. Anyway, he is not only a really good social player, but he's good at competitions, he too. He is good. He may be wearing heels around the house, but those physical comps... He's strong. He's kicking ass. He is really tall, too. Isn't he, like, he's six, really tall. one or two he's, or he's three, tall. maybe, even? He's here to win. Come on. He made it to second place last time. If he doesn't at least make it to second place or win this time, it's going to be disappointing for him. He doesn't. He's not going to be like anybody else. He is an original. Yeah, there was this one question that they kept asking, like, which uh, former player would you want to channel? I feel like it's weird if you don't say, like, yourself or, like, no one. I want to play a new game. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, sure. Okay. <laughs> they were also asking, would you rather go back in the past or into the future? Or stay in the present. And he said he wants to go back to the 70s, to Studio 54 days. Yeah! And actually Studio 54, and I'd say yes. I'm here for Do it. Do it. He's not going to be as trusting this time either. And he's looking out for sneakies and big bads, as in big bad wolves. <laughs> or as he would say, big bad woofs. Yeah! I oh. love when people say woofs. <laughs> I know it's not right, but I love it. Why does it have to be right? It doesn't. All right. Well, anyway, we're very, very excited for him to be back. I'm also super excited for this next person. She is one of my all-time favorite Big Brother players of any franchise, Netta Kalantar. She's Girl 25 power. years old. Yes! 
she's right. She's 25. She is an entrepreneur. She's got her own fashion business. She's she, from Vancouver. Yeah, she got third place on season two, but she should have won. She dated the winner, John. They were in a relationship. Remember how crazy show. that was when they got together, like after the show was over? I was like, Mom, wake up. Netta and John are together. And you were like, why are you calling me at one in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> they were in a relationship. I guess they were living together for a year and a half. They had a dog and a cat together. They had to split custody. Yeah, he got, got the cat. dog. <laughs> there we go, yeah. So I'm really excited for her to be back. She's going to have a different strategy going in. Because she has to, because last they time... They know her. Yeah, last time she was all flying under the radar for the first half, and then she really pulled it out. In the second half. So she's now. She's got to go balls to the walls this time. Everybody knows that she's one of the greatest strategists to ever play. So she can't just go in there and be like, what? Who is. <laughs> I don't know anything. What uh, is her brother? Yeah. <laughs> you can't do that. She's got a different strategy too now for her team. Mm -hmm. It's her, her mom, and her cat. No freaking showmance is going to steal this money away That's from her. That's right. <laughs> All right. I'm that, a little bit nervous for her because she is going to have too. such a big target on her back. Yeah. But then I was thinking about last season, Big Brother Over the Top, when Jason was the only vet to come back, and he yeah. made it all the way to the end. So you never yeah. know what could happen. I'm hoping for the best for her. People might want to keep her around all the way to the end as a meat shield because yeah. they would think, oh, they wouldn't vote for her to have the money. So. And there are going to be other vets here who are going to want safety. Right. So you never know what could happen. It's going to be really interesting, though, to see her play without John. Right. I'm excited. She's had two HOHs in the past, but no HOH room. She wants the room. Mm -hmm. She wants the perks. Uh, she won't channel anyone. She's an original, just like Gary. She thinks she's, you know, top player yeah. in this franchise. And if she could travel back in time, she would, and she would cut John. <gasps> <laughs> it seemed like there was a recurring theme in her interviews that she feels like she needs to prove herself without John in the house because I guess she's got a lot of smack talking about like, oh, you only got as far as you did because you had John. Come on. Everybody knows that she was making the decisions there. Hell yes. That was an unfortunate... No offense, John. <laughs> that was an unfortunate accident at the end. All right. <laughs> well, let's talk about... Nope. She hates the bros and girls who hate girls. So basically everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's talk about Kevin Martin. He's 24. He was on season three. He's a poker player. Professional poker player yeah, from his, Calgary. His career has really taken off since he was last on. Yeah, I think he got like a brand deal or he's a like sponsor. He's coaching people in poker. Yeah, I that's mean, he's really, really happy in his career, which is great. I mean, that's great that this show can be a stepping stone for other things in the future for anybody who's on it if they choose to use it to their advantage so he did definitely take advantage of it yeah and he was in a similar ish situation as Netta he was in a showmance with Peely he was with Peely um but he was taken out he was the meat shield for Peely I mean usually one of the players in the showmance is a more of a threat than the other so mm -hmm. Try and be the lesser threat if you want to get into a showman. Or just I don't guess. be in a showman. Okay. <laughs> but showmans seem to do well on, on, Canada. on the Canada franchise, franchise. Yeah, for sure. All right. So this time he said he doesn't want to do the whole showman's thing. He doesn't want to fall in love. He doesn't want to be a shallow. Mm -hmm. me meaning he wants to really form relationships with the people in the house instead of just being like, you're out. He was a You're little right. bit too isolated last season with Peely and uh, Ashley and Zach. Yeah. He wants to win this time. He's a returner. Again, if he, you know, did any worse than he did last time, it would be a waste. Oh. And he was also a victim of a twist last season because he was right. out, or not last season, sorry, his last season. He was out in that triple eviction. Mm-hmm. So imagine if there was another triple eviction and they right. were like, bye, Kevin. One of the that other questions that they were asking was, uh, do you want Canada's vote? Do you want a letter from home? Do you want uh, to be known as a good player? Like, like which of these would you rather have? And pretty much everybody said a vote from Canada. Yeah. Not only because it would help you in the game, but it would also like, affirm, like, yay, everybody loves you. 
Well, apparently Kevin doesn't feel as confident as Netta and Gary because when they asked him who he wanted to channel, he said Sarah, Emmett, and Netta. <laughs> I guess Kevin wasn't so great. Well, you know what? If he was ninth out, you know, ninth from the end. I think he has I a lot of potential as a player. I just think he got distracted last time. Could be. I would really love to see Netta and Kevin work together, mm -hmm. but... it's uh, That's a little unexpected, so yes. Know. I don't know. Uh, he would travel to the future if he could turn back time, or if he could turn ahead time. Um, he also brought up a great point. Um, yeah, maybe I need to lay back or, you know, not win so many comps. Maybe throwing comps at the right time would be better for me. Mm -hmm. And also the whole meat shield thing. He needs to... Um, find somebody who's going to be a meat shield for him and align with them. I definitely see him as one of the vets that's really going to be pushing them sticking together. Yes. I, but I don't know if it's going to happen. There's been a lot of talk about some drama behind the scenes with all these returning vets that all the alumni seem to know about. But we're all just like, wait, what happened? There, there could be some real heads knocking together. I want to know these, what this dirt yeah, is. I know. Seriously. All right. Next up, the final uh, returner of this grouping today that they gave us, Bruno Aiello, mm -hmm. 33. He's the oldie in the house as of now. Oh, 33 <laughs> is so young. The funny thing is she's older than every player today except for Bruno. That's insane. Who would have thought she would be an oldie if she was in this game? <laughs> Anyway, uh, he was on season three. He's a construction worker from Ottawa, and he's been busy. He's got a family. I believe he had two kids, and one of his kids had foot surgery, so he's been at home playing Mr. Mom. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he's been studying up on his past seasons of BB Can so that uh, he can be ed educated. Yeah, he also got screwed over by a twist when he yes. was on, so that kind of well, sucks. So it's got, you know, there's this whole, like, redemption theme here. I don't it's remember. It's not just random people coming back. Did he have a strategy going in the first time? I kind of thought he didn't have a strategy so. going in. And this time is going to be no different. He's not going to have a set strategy going in. I don't blame in. him. You never know what you're going to walk into. you got to have your head on a swivel in this game. And I think that's pretty smart. Mm -hmm. He said he would call Sarah for advice. Which is so funny. <laughs> because he called her poison in that season. Over and over and over again. I was a little disappointed with his interview because he seemed to be very non-committal in his answers. When they would ask him, you know, oh, I'll do this and I'll do this and I'll do this. Okay, just pick one. He doesn't want to just pick one, okay? He can do whatever he wants. Well, if he could turn back time, he'd go to season three and change stuff so that he would win. He doesn't want to get so comfortable in the house that, you know, because it's the same in any of these reality shows. When you feel like you're pretty, pretty good, mm -hmm. I'm good. You're out. That's definitely an, an advantage that the veterans are going in with. Because a lot of the, the newbies are probably going to be like, oh, I'm all set for the whole game yeah. now. I got my alliance of four or whatever. We're going to take this and then it's going to, everything is going to change. And right. they're probably going to get evicted that week. But it also goes against the veterans too because I have a feeling that they're a little complacent because they're the returners and they know what it's all or they think they know what it's all about. See, I disagree there. I don't think they're going to be complacent at all. Okay. Remember Second Chances of Survivor? These people are back for redemption. Yeah. They want it so bad. Well, Bruno's got a little bit of a temper. He doesn't want to lose his cool again because that's not, that doesn't make for good housemates. When you start losing your cool, people are like, mm, maybe you got to go. Mm. And he doesn't want to be the first out because that would be a major embarrassment. I think anybody could probably say that. That would suck. Well, he doesn't like cockies or big egos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who does? <laughs> so let's talk about some newbies now. We got four today. Brand new, freshly born newbies. Dre Gwinnell. babies. I know. <laughs> 25 years old, still younger than you. Master student. I get it, okay? <laughs> Master student from Montreal. You could stack up two of these newbies and it still wouldn't be as old as me. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I don't know about this girl. I want to like her, but she just seems like... A recruit? She just seems like she's not cut out for this game. She I don't seems... know. 
She's like, I don't know about lying. A little bit unaware of what's going to go down. Yeah. She's got no strategy. That's not a problem, but she didn't really prepare. <laughs> she knows she needs to be flexible. Which is important. But lying might be a problem. I was just a little bit confused by her interview, too, because she kept saying, like, she kept she's extra herself. and all this stuff. And I thought she was going to be this huge personality. But then she was like, I don't like confrontation. Yeah. <laughs> she's open to a showman, so she wants that vote from Canada. She wants to be liked. Mm -hmm. But yet she's a hustler. And she liked Cassandra from... Last season. Last season, yeah. There's a rumor that Cassandra's gonna be on. We'll find out soon. But anyway, um... Wouldn't that be something if Cassandra and her were working together, if Cassandra was on the show? Could happen. Uh, she wouldn't travel in time. She'd just stay here and hustle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm getting some Lisa Rinna vibes here. Yeah. Her <laughs> mouth might get her in trouble. Also getting some Lisa Rinna vibes here. <sighs> yeah, I don't know about Dre. We'll see. All right. I want to like her. I really do. I do too. Mark Chrysler, 24. He's a bartender from Edmonton. Okay, here's another one where there's a little bit of a contradiction here. His three words to describe himself, fun, outgoing, okay, and shy? How can he be outgoing and shy? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what? But he is a bartender. He thinks he has a great social game. He's got to deal with drunks, <laughs> so. I guess. Uh, he loves to work out. More than anything, he says that his strength is his strength. Uh, <laughs> he's very physically fit. He's going to be all working out all the time. He's very competitive. He is an, a huge Emmett fan. He would love to be in a bromance with Emmett. He'd Go love get to. get some beers. I don't know. I just, I feel like this guy is not really my type of player. Not the type of player I like to watch. Did we happen to mention he really likes working out? He really I likes mean, it. really. He did mention, too, that mental challenges are going to be... It's going to be a problem. Uh, That's he, what alliances are for. He'd like to travel to the future because he's not very good at history. <laughs> he's his words. History. His words. <laughs> so. Yeah. I don't know. I'm... Uh, we'll see. No. Next up. William Laprise Desbien. This guy is here to play. He's 23 years old. He's a student and a blogger. He's from Trois Rivières, Quebec. Yeah. And uh, his strategy analyze everything. At first, I was like, really? Like, that's your strategy? <laughs> analyze everything? And then he was like, and then sometimes use the info against people. <laughs> But All then right. he was talking about how he really likes players who actually play the game. They're not just hanging out at summer camp. He's ready to backstab people, and I like that. I respect that. I like backstabbers. You gotta. He's you, ready to play. You gotta build up your resume. You gotta get some stabs in the in those backs. Yeah, um, he was also a big Cassandra fan. Ooh. So that could be interesting again yes. if she's on. He wasn't a fan of Peely because he doesn't like floaters. Grab a life vest. That's what we were saying. He wants people there who are going to play. He wants people to like him. He wants Canada's vote. He's a, he's a blogger. He knows about those likes. If he could travel back in time... Now, this was very touching. He said he missed when his grandma passed away. He didn't get a chance to say goodbye to her. Yeah. So he would say goodbye so to her. I know. I really feel for him. Yeah. I would like to see him go far. How cute is, are those braces? I know! <laughs> All right. Uh, last player that we have for today is Emily Hawken, 23, mm -hmm. a musician and a server. Is she here for the right, right reasons? reasons? She's sure. from Toronto. <laughs> okay, this is so funny. So, <laughs> you know how it, Canadians are always like, oh, we're so nice and like we're so polite, which they are. Mm -hmm. Um... So she was saying how she used to be, like, super, super polite and sweet to people. But then she moved to Toronto, and if somebody, like, cut her off or something, she would be like, not today, sir. <laughs> you know what people in the U.S. would say? F, F you. you, mother effer. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But she's got a little bit of grit now because she's been living bit. in Toronto. A little bit. I just thought that was funny. Imagine if she came to New York. Oh. <laughs> All right, she is super single, and she is ready to mingle. Yeah, she's open for that showmance. She doesn't have a plan. She's a weirdo. Uh, she's all, I'm so weird. 
<laughs> she also wants to be liked. The players that she uh, liked or idolized on past seasons were Nikki, no kidding, <laughs> and Joel. <laughs> what? Yeah, Joel, okay. Joel's kind of quirky, so... No, Joel I'm, is fun, don't yeah. get me wrong. He made it really far. Yeah. She would like to travel to the future and see what's up. Okay. <laughs> Why not? She's good at sporting, but she's terrible at running for the bus. She gets all winded. <gasps> not today, sir. <laughs> <laughs> she's kind of good with people. No, she said she's good. No. Like, she's... <laughs> come on now. Her strategy, even though she said she doesn't have a strategy, is to make an alliance with the middle. Mm-hmm. And take out the big threats. I like that she's going in there ready to be flexible. I think that's a good sign. How much do you want to make a bet she's going to be in a showman's possibly with Mark? Could happen. I, I got to see that. I got to see who's up next. You that's know, true. we've got the other half that's of the true. cast tomorrow. But if it was just these guys, I would definitely say Mark and Emily. Could happen. Showman's. All right. Well, let us know what you guys think of the cast so far. Are you excited about the format with the returning players and the newbies? Yes. Who else are you hoping to see come back? And uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow for more. And until next time, much, much love. love.